hello guys and welcome to my channel as you may have seen I recently did a snow photo shoot and I did it with fake snow here's a little extract from that if you want to see the whole video I'll put the link in the description below now that worked fine with the snow spray but if you want to add that little extra bit of snow to your snow image then here's a way to do it with an overlay in Photoshop there are lots of these overlays for sale online, but it's actually quite easy to make your own and today I'm going to show you how. So here we're just going to create a new image. I'm going to do my settings as width 5000 and height 3000 because my pictures are usually around that size when I'm editing them in full size. I'm going to make my resolution 300 because that's my usual resolution when I work with a TIFF. I'm just going to make it black. And we just click create. You can rotate it if you need to. I'm going to rotate it to portrait orientation because most of my pictures are portrait and the one that I'm going to use today is. So that's really easy to do. I just go edit rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. So the easiest way to create the snow effect is to use the splatter brushes. You can do it just with a normal brush, but it'll just take a lot longer. So go to the special effects brushes in Photoshop, make sure you've got a white brush selected, and then choose any one of the splatter brushes. I just chose this one, it was the first one I tried and the only one I tried, so have a play. So now using our splatter brush, we're going to just paint on the background, just do several clicks and create a splattered effect. These brushes work really well if you just click a couple of times and that will build up the effect randomly. So build it up a little bit, we're going to build this up in layers. Then what's really important to make it look realistic is to go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. So for this layer let's go around 30. It doesn't matter that these can be random figures, we just want to get a variation of blurred effects. So as you can see, that's got rid of the effects quite a lot. So now we're going to create a new layer. I'm going to do the same thing again. You can use the same splatter brush or you can use a different one. So again, I'm just doing the same thing. And this time I'm going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to choose a different amount. So let's go a bit less this time. So then again, we're just going to keep going. And change the size of your brush as well so you get different size snowflakes. This time let's go filter blur, Gaussian blur. This time let's go even less. So the idea here is to make a realistic effect. If snow was actually falling, it would be falling at different distances from your camera lens. So some would be closer to the camera, some would be further away, some would be more blurred, some would be more in focus. So that's the effect we're trying to create with this Gaussian blur. So let's put all of those into a group so we can see the effect we've got so far. So we've gone from nothing to our snow effect. So let's flatten our image, I'm happy with that. Now what's really important again to make it look realistic is to go to filter, blur and motion blur. 
because normally when snow falls, there's some wind and it's blowing in a certain direction with a certain amount of movement. So again, as always, you can play here and you can get the effect you want. You can either create a really strong effect, so it's more like rain, sleet, or you can just go for a subtle effect with a slight bit of movement, which is what I'm going to do now. So that's pretty much our snow overlay. So I'm going to save that as my snow overlay. So now I'm going to take my snow overlay, I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to drag it across onto my picture. If you need to, you can use free transform to adjust the size of your overlay. Click Ctrl T, free transform and distort and then you can adapt the overlay to the size of your picture. And then all you need to do is change the blending mode to screen and that will make everything black disappear. So now we just need to create a mask, a white mask that's going to show our change through. Make sure you change your brush back to a normal size brush. And then with black, we're going to paint over the white mask to hide where we don't want the change to show through. So we're just taking the snow off her face and taking off anywhere where it's too distracting. You can vary your opacity of your brush as well if you want the snow to show through slightly but it's too strong. You know, that way you're not deleting it completely but you're making it more subtle. You can build these layers up so it's easier to do them subtly in the first place and build on them than do too much and not like them. So that's before and after. And if you want, you can play with the opacity of your layer. So again, if you want it more subtle, then you can just bring the opacity down. Another trick I like to do is to add another layer. Just take a white brush, bring the opacity of your brush down and then just do a couple of clicks around the side of your image. And this just creates the effect of there being snowflakes really close to the lens that are completely blurred out. And I personally really like this effect. Again, play with your opacity to get it to the look you want. Again, it's just trying to create a sense of realism that there will be some snowflakes really close to the camera lens and some really far from the camera lens. And as I said before, if you want to, you can build it up so you can add another overlay layer and then we just do the same steps again. We take it off her face where it's annoying or we just make our mask black this time and we just draw in some extra snow where we want. So really this is up to you. You can create however strong or subtle effect you want. Again, I'm just going to take out anything which I find distracting. So let's see what we got. So that's where we started. That's with our initial overlay. That's with the extra snow. And this is with a few extra white brush strokes just to create the effect of snow right close up to the lens. So I hope you enjoyed that guys, I hope it was useful. Now you can have fun creating your own snow overlays. But have a go and if you have any tips for creating snow overlays or other types of overlays, do let me know in the comments because I'd love to learn too. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my channel and give me a like for this video. And I'd love to see what you do, so please do tag me if you use any of these tips in your work. Thanks very much, bye bye.